Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to just come in and run my mouth and talk about the people. Now, listen, we're going to talk about our HOA for a few minutes. For those, I'm going to try not to give too much information, but I will put the timestamp in the description box. So if you don't want to hear anything related to Royal Housewives of Atlanta, um, then you can just, I'll just put the timestamp and you can just skip past this part of the video. Um, but I'm going to try, there will be some information that I'm going to release, but I'm going to try not to give too much because, you know, it is what it is. So everybody's talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta season 16, the feud between uh, newcomer, new housewife, Brittany Edie, um, and of course, the K Kenya Summer Moa. Um, there have been stories. Um, leaking allegations accusations being thrown around um and again without giving too much information i will say that i woke today I, I i woke up today and uh shout out to carlos um i, I received a text message and not carlos king <laughs> girl um i received a text message and i was like what is this I Oh, I didn't know. Um, and it was basically some information that um, appeared to me as though Kenya was vindicated. Um, there has been some audio released. Can I say something? Can I say something? I think this is one of those situations where people who can't stand Kenya they are going to take the information that, that we've received and run with it. I was on the phone with one of my friends earlier, and I was telling them that on some real, like, real, real, like, it ain't even got nothing to do with me going up for Kenya. Because y'all know when it comes to any of these housewives, Kenya is my girl out of all of the girls, okay? Um, Kenya can be a lot. <laughs> okay. Kenya has done some things as a housewife where she can get popped, <laughs> right? With the cookie lady. Y'all know Kenya is my girl. But even I had to say that if I was Tanya and you had brought a side chick and set her right in front of my face, honey, we would have tore that restaurant to shreds girl forget tour we would have towed that restaurant up <laughs> okay now did i catch my life and google and laugh yes <laughs> but on the flip side i also knew that tanya you were fool <laughs> right when kenya came through with the kenya more hair care thum, 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 right so kenya has done some things that could get her snatched we also have to keep in mind that when Kenya, Kenya is retaliating, that's the part that people always leave out. You know, a lot of people want to start at D, but they forget A, B, and C. <laughs> and with Kenya, there's always an A, B, and C. The retaliation from Kenya is usually bigger than um, the action, right? And I think that's why some people tend to forget because Kenya will come in full force <laughs> right um kenya does not do anything that's criminal i think that's the part that people don't want to admit there may be other people on the cast that may right kenya does a lot of things that can get her snatched up but kenya not doing nothing to the point where she would have to go and take a mug shot girl trading her clothes for orange turn left turn right bend over and cough where her new name will be inmate 572-005 kenya doesn't participate in criminal activities so that i think that's why it was hard for a lot of people who were operating in reality and not just because oh i hate kenya more to really sit back and say this don't sound like nothing that kenya would do because again, Kenya does not operate in criminal activity. 
girl. Snatched up, popped, maybe so. Going to jail, that's not King, that's not King, that's not that's that's not Kenya Stilo. She don't move that way. Um again, based off what I've seen, Kenya is vindicated. Um there was some audio of Kenya and I think this is my delivery, y'all. Oh, um, based off of the audio that I've heard, there is some back and forth between um, Kenya and I believe Brittany. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, based off of the stuff that's floating around, Kenya didn't participate in no RP. She didn't. I think this has been something that, girl, the people gassed Brittany up, first, first year rookie mistake, and she ran with it. Um, I think this is something that the producers probably planted <laughs> to get some, you know, the talk going around Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, we've had situations like this before where just because information leaks doesn't mean it's the truth. We had that with Candace and Mia. People swore up and down. Candace was in Miami tussling with Mia, and Candace was still in D.C. <laughs> and it was actually Mia and Wendy. And it was Mia who was the aggressor, right? We've had this conversation with Monique and Candace, where people swore up and down that the reason why Monique hit Candace was because Candace hit her with a wine glass. And we know that wasn't the truth. Girl, whatever Candace did after her head was on the table, that's what happened. But it wasn't because Candace hit her with a wine glass and Monique retaliated. So we hear these stories that get out all the time when it comes to the housewives. And sometimes they're the truth and sometimes they're not. And I really believe that whatever's happening in Atlanta, when, as it pertains to Kenya and the RP, I just don't believe it. I would have this would have to be one of those situations where they showed the show and they would have to show me and I would have to see it with my own eyes. But again, based off of the information that's floating around, the 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 poster boards that um have been presented, it was not RP at all. Now, let me just say something to Miss Brittany. Brittany, you seem like a cool chick. Um I think this is one of your rookie mistakes. You know, shout out to the diva. <laughs> y'all want the Kenya more experience. That's what y'all be wanting. I can guarantee you Brittany said something to Kenya first, right? We heard that, that Brittany said that I got GUNs for business like you, right? Now, why did she say that? I don't know. But I can almost guarantee you Brittany started with Kenya first. And Kenya, and Kenya said, I'm going to finish her. <laughs> um, girl, you coming in kind of wrong, sis. <laughs> I feel like the, the, the producers have told you you're protected. And girl, they're going to hang you out there to dry. Kenya ain't dumb. Kenya been doing reality TV for a very long time. <laughs> While she's not protected by the producers, you probably won't be either. Portia might. <laughs> we know how they'll protect her. King is not protected. So if this did happen, back to if it happened, girl, we will know. They will show us. But back to Britney. Britney, girl, um, <laughs> I'm one of the nice ones, believe it or not, if you watch my channel. I'm one of the nice ones. <laughs> um, some of the girls chop y'all off at y'all knees. I'm one of the few that now believes that some of the girls, a lot of the girls should get two chances. You come in the wrong way, <laughs> girl, they're going to be off with your head by episode four. And they ain't going to want to see you no more. They're going to want you off the show. Petition's going to start. <laughs> girl, they're going to call you whack. They're going to call you a mess. And I'm going to be over here trying to take up for you, <laughs> girl. Because even with Marlo Hampton, with all the carrying on she was doing, I still was like, I don't want Marlo to lose her peach. <laughs> she just got it. Girl. But the girls was like, girl, shut up. Girl, we want Marlo gone. 
So, you know, I, 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 I don't know what's going on, but Brittany, girl, you took some information that somebody told you and you made it seem as though Kenya was participating in RP and that wasn't the case. And now you probably going to be feeling crazy, looking crazy when this episode airs, because that's not that's that, that's that, that's not what happened. Um, if we're going to be honest, I did hear you have to listen very closely. There's something going on. If you listen closely, I did hear either Portia or someone in the background say, is that a penis? So it's something going on. Again, I don't want to give too much information, um, but I also want to be honest and say what I did hear. So I did hear somebody say that, is that a penis? That's a penis. It was something along those lines. Um, but yeah, Kenya, girl, like Kenya is that girl. She's going to forever be that girl. Kenya has y'all worked up over some shit that wasn't even true. Um, y'all have to really sit back and just think about the way that Kenya moves. I think there's a difference between doing shit that could get you slapped across your face, doing stuff that could get your hair pulled, doing stuff that could po possibly get your ass whooped. But girl, there's a that's it's a whole nother situation that when you when you do things that could possibly girl land you in jail. And Kenya Moore does not move that way. She doesn't, right? I see people online talking about, oh, she was the same one who flirted with Apollo, girl. Yes, we get it. She flirted with Apollo. She flirted with Apollo. What they got to do with RP? Nene also flirted with Peter, but we know the reason why. It's no shade to Nene. Y'all know Nene is an icon, but we all know the reason why y'all don't care about Nene flirting with Peter versus Kenya flirting with Apollo because let's just call a thing a thing, not to sound too mean, but Kenya is a beauty queen. Nene Leakes is not and was not at the time. So nobody looked at Nene as a threat. They looked at Miss USA 1993, Black Barbie doll, as a threat. That's why it was blown into a big, a, a, a big situation, because of how Kenya looked. <laughs> because, again, Nene did the same thing with Peter, and y'all didn't bat an eye. <laughs> yeah. But again, it's because nobody was threatened by Nene. The people were threatened by Kenya. Kenya did a real, that's, that's what she messed up at. I was talking to one of my friends about that, too about how Kenya came into the show. And I think I talked about it with y'all too, how Kenya came into the show. And um, she, um, I think she wanted to come in kind of as a fun, flirty, you know, vixen, right? And I don't think she realized that girl, you can't, you can't do that. Not a, not, not a, not, girl, you want a whole beauty pageant. You can't do that, right? It's not going to work out for you. And I think she had to learn the hard way that, yeah, girl, I shouldn't have probably came into this this way, <laughs> right? Um, but it is what it is. The people who hate Kenya, um, of course, they're going to say what she, what she does is the worst of 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 the worst. When the truth of the matter is, now some of y'all might say, well, girl, you don't like Portia, girl, and I don't too much care for Portia, y'all already know that. But girl, when the truth of the matter is, it's only one part, girl, Kenya is not the villain. There is a villain on the show. It's not Kenya. It's a person who actually will walk into your house, walk up with your husband and your, and your hen to say. It's a person who they say actually was fucking somebody's husband at the time allegedly i'm just telling y'all what, what fallon said that dennis told her her baby daddy it's that person it's that person that will accuse y'all girl candy and todd of the r word it's that person it's a person who will girl get into not one not two but three physical altercation it's that person <laughs> yeah. if we're gonna be honest about who's the real villain on the show it ain't kenya moore Kenya might flirt with your man, but she ain't going to fuck your man. <laughs> Let's move on. What time is it? 4, 14, 44? Okay, I'm going to put a time stamp in the thing. All right, so congratulations are in order for Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Uh, another one. So this is according to the Neighborhood Talk. Bad Boys 4 tops box office earning $56 million in opening weekend. 
So Neighbors, It Looks Like Bad Boys 4 is a hit. The fourth movie in the cinema series had a strong start with 56 million from 3,885 theaters in its domestic debut. Um, the action-packed movie earned 48.6 million internationally, um, totaling its worldwide earnings to 104.104 million. Girl, I was gonna say 104.6 million, basically. Um, the sequel to the franchise marks Will Smith's first major film to premiere since the infamous Chris Rock Oscar slap incident. While the film didn't break any major records due to bad uh, due to Bad Boys for Life being the highest earning film in the first weekend, earning 62 million um, in its opening weekend and grossing over 426 million globally, the movie still did notably well, taking the number one spot at the box office for the weekend. Um, the Bad Boy series initially kicked off in 1995 with the Bad Girl. Y'all know who fine? This is so off the girl. Will Smith's son in the movie. I haven't seen the new movie, but I'm talking about the one before this one. Three, the son with the crazy, <laughs> that crazy helper. Um, baby, that boy is fine as hell. <laughs> girl, I don't know what his name is, girl. Oscar, Jesus, Ramirez, I don't know. That The thing is fine boots. Go back and watch... Um, uh, three. Who is this? Is this my uh, grocery order? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Um, go back and watch Bad Boys 3 and just look at that boy. That boy fine as hell. Anyways, <laughs> I said, girl, if y'all don't want to slam dunk them tonight. Um, the Bad Boys series initially kicked off in 1995 with Bad Boys Contained in 2003. But Bad Boys 2 in 2020's uh, Bad Boy for Life. Something tells me this will not be the last installment of Bad Boys as David uh, A. Gross of Franchise um, Enterprise Entertainment was quoted saying, Bad Boys is an elite company and the series has room to run. Girl, can I say something and y'all don't, y'all don't get mad? Well, girl, they need to go ahead and go, if they're going to do another movie, honey, they need to go ahead and shoot it because, girl, the way Martin is out here walking around and having to be held about by Will Smith. I don't know how you, I don't know how he gonna do all that jumping, hollering, and screaming, and kicking, and running around on the movie set when he can't even walk out without the assistance of somebody. It's no shade. I'm not trying to be mean, but we all saw Martin. Look, can I say something? Can we just, girl? Can we just be honest, girl? Can we just be honest, y'all? <laughs> we never know what's wrong with people. Some people are saying, you know. Think about Chadwick Boseman. That's the Black Panther, right? It's none of our business what's going on with Martin Lawrence, right? Ain't nothing. Most of the stuff that be, that be in the blogs ain't none of our business. Shit. If we're going to be just quite frank about it, girl. Most of the stuff that's in on the shade room, neighborhood, talk, whatever, it ain't none of our business, <laughs> okay? But what I'm not going to do is act like <laughs> I'm not seeing what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing someone who is giving low energy. This is a time to, pro when, it, when, when, I, when people do promotion tours, right? It's kind of like that old school back in the day when Beyonce and Usher and Brandy and Monica have to go on for promo tour. You have to sell your personality, right? So when you go on these promo tours, in my head, you're trying to sell, you're selling the movie, selling your personality, engaging with the interview, all that good stuff. Girl, when you have Will, who's kind of sitting there carrying the interview, and Martin is just kind of, girl, if, it's at, if, if it's due to the death of his friends, his brother, um, if it's due to health reasons, we're not going to sit here and act like we don't see it. I'm not. Girl, something don't look right. Now, I ain't got to know what's wrong with him. He ain't got to show me his medical records. But girl, I'm not going to sit here and act like I just didn't see Will Smith help this man walk out. <laughs> like, I think that's absolutely crazy to me. I really do. While I think we can be sensitive to whatever Martin could be going through, while you can be sensitive to when Eva was walking around and Eva had lost a lot of weight, right? She let us know she was depressed. She was going through her divorce with Chadwick Boseman, right? But even with, like with Chadwick, I don't, I don't, I didn't keep up with Chadwick like that. But if I saw Chadwick looking one way one day, and then if I saw him the next day, he looked like he had dropped fifty pounds or forty pounds, I would have come down here and said, "Y'all, 
something ain't going on. Something ain't right because Chad was looking like this the other day, and now he looked like he dropped 25 pounds, 40 pounds, 50 pounds overnight. We need to pray for him. I just feel like we, I'm not going to play that game of acting like I don't see something. That's it. <laughs> but shout out to uh, Martin Lawrence. Shout out to Will Smith. Girl, y'all really thought that. Girl, let me tell you something. Will Smith is so fine. Oh, that's another one, girl. Girl, I just, oh, girl, I, just I, I need to, girl, I need a man over here. That's what I need. I need a man over here. That's what I need. I don't have people at my house, though. I know some of y'all be thinking I be lying, girl. Because I be acting like I'm a hoe. Used to be. <clears throat> but not no more. Girl, I've been in my apartment for over three years. 15, because my first lease was 15 months. My second lease was 18 months. And my second lease expired in April. So what's that? What's that? Three years and what? Three years and some change. Girl, I've never had company at my apartment. Ever. Never. A man <laughs> that I sleep with. <laughs> my friends have been over. But girl, I've never had a man in my apartment at all. Not one. <laughs> At all. Girl. Girl, tonight might be the night, though. Tonight might be the night, baby. Because, honey, this guy. But, yeah, y'all thought that little slap. Y'all thought Chris slapping the shit out of, um, I mean, y'all thought Will slapping the shit out of Chris. Girl, y'all was going to break that man's career. I ain't forgot. I ain't forgot. We're going to call a thing a thing, girl. Today today is on. We're doing Honest Sundays. I remember even some of y'all. I love y'all to pieces, but I remember even some of y'all, girl, trying to counsel Will Smith. <laughs> He's counseled. How dare he slap his friend? That's what people was mad. Girl, first of all, that's not his friend. Because one thing, girl, if that was your friend, your friend wouldn't get on stage and make fun of your wife. That's one, especially when it's a room full of bitches, white girls. He could be talking about, but he want to make fun of Jada. That's not your. That's not. That wasn't Will's. That wasn't Will's friend to begin with. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'm gonna let it go though. Let me shut up. Mm, I got all the rollins. Oh, Howard University revokes Diddy's honorary degree issued in 2014, ends agreements and, return, and returns gifted funds. Girl, listen to this. That ain't even a gag. This is a gag. On Friday, June the 7th, Howard University's News and Stories Hub, The Dig, reported that Howard University's Board of Trustees held a regularly, regularly scheduled uh, board meeting where they unanimously voted to accept the return of Diddy's honorary doctorate issued in May 2014. The move arrives after immense pressure mounted for the university to rescind Diddy's honorary degree um, conferred in May 2014 during the university's 146th commence, uh, commencement anniversary uh, ceremony. Um, a statement released, girl, listen to this girl. The Howard University Board of Trustees voted unanimously today to accept the return of Mr. Combs, Mr. Sean Combs, um, of the honorary degree conferred upon him in 2014. The acceptance revokes all honors and privileges associated with the degree. According to the board, um, accordingly, the board has directed that his name be removed from all documents listing honorary degree recipients of Howard University. The statement continued. Uh, Mr. Cohn's behavior as captured in recently released video is so fundamentally fundamentally incompatible with Howard University's core values and beliefs that he is deemed no longer worthy to hold the Institute's highest honor. Um, the university is uh, unwavering in its opposition to all acts of an, an interpersonal violence. The board has also directed that uh, the university administration to immediately take the following actions. Terminate a 2016 um, agreement with Mr. Combs. I'm sorry, terminate a 2016 gift agreement with Mr. Combs, disband the, the scholarship program in his name, return his $1 million contribution, and terminate a 2023 pledge agreement with Sean Combs Foundation. No payments. Hello, listen to this. No payments towards, girl, is this the people? I got to just make sure that, you know, sometimes these people have a hard time getting to my apartment. Okay, girl, they on their way. 
Okay, girl. Girl, the people be having a hard time getting to, uh, getting to my apartment building sometimes, so I have to go downstairs and girl get my own groceries, which is kind of like a headache because I don't like leaving my apartment. <laughs> but girl, I, I mean, girl, I know I understand. I have to go downstairs too. Um, no payments towards the uh, one million dollar pledge have uh, been made due. Girl, I'm gonna tell y'all a story after this. Um, no payments towards the one million dollar uh, pledge have been made due are made by the Sean Combs Foundation as of this date. Therefore, no funds are due to be returned under, under the 2023 pledge agreement. Girl, I don't blame Howard. Girl, you, you should not want your business to be associated with anything like this, especially when there's footage of him doing what he did, right? So Howard said, girl, we don't want no parts of that. But you know how crazy it would look for them to continue to deal with Puff Daddy, right? How it would look to the student body, the girls that go to the school, the women who are the professors, the girl, the boys, the men who have um, been in situations of DV, Girl, that, that's just scraping. That, we ain't even got to the other stuff they accused Puffy of. We just talking about him whooping ass. Anyways, child, I was going to tell y'all a story, but I don't feel like telling y'all the story. I'll tell y'all another day, girl. I just hate when people act like they can't. Anyways, girl. Anyways, I'm gone. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all another day. Um, I'm in here balling me some sausages, girl. Cause I really, I really ain't got no food in my apartment. That's why I ordered some, uh, ordered the little groceries because I ain't really got nothing in here to eat. So I had to borrow me some sausages. <laughs> Cause I'm about to go ahead and eat these sausages and a couple of slices, a couple of slices of bread to hold me over. And then I'll be all right. You drink me a little water. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> y'all have a good. Ain't that so old school? Y'all still ball sausages, girl? I love me an old nasty ball sausage. I don't even need nothing on my bread. I can just get the sausage, put it between a piece of bread, and bite it. Mm. <laughs> that's old school old school a ball sausage yes ma'am all right i'm going i'll talk to y'all later have a good day bye y'all i forgot one thing girl i was starving i i needed to go girl, demolish those sausages that i had on the stove this is one thing that i forgot to mention howard university okay y'all took the honorary degree away y'all say y'all don't want no association with with, with Puff Daddy. This is what we want to know. What, what's next in line? So why y'all black asses over there having meetings about Puff Daddy and not wanting a million dollars? Quiet as it's kept, y'all should have asked him what a million dollars was and put it towards those dormitories. Because we ain't forgot how y'all had those kids out there, girls sleeping in mildew mold. They said they had mice running around those dormitories. Rats, rat, rats, mice is the same thing in my book. If a mice is if a, if a mouse is running around, girl, my living, <laughs> girl, my room, girl, it's a rat. If I see a rat, it's a mouse. A mouse, a, 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 a mouse is a rat. Okay, y'all had them kids over there sleeping in mildew and mold and rats and roaches and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! So do what you're gonna do with Puffy, but I hope that y'all getting those living conditions together for those children. That's what y'all need to be having a meeting over. <laughs> like I said, quiet as this cup, y'all need to be asking Puffin for that million dollars. At least fix a ceiling or something. At least at least get rid of the, the mill and the mold. The mill doing the mold. At least, girl, call 1-800-Exterminator to, to, to fix the rats in the, in the roaches problem. Now, that's all I had to say. That's what I really wanted to talk about, but I was, girl, my stomach, girl, was over here, girl, in knots. All right, I gotta go. My groceries, are, uh, let me see how far they away. Girl, six minutes. He's six minutes away. All right, girl, I'll be, I'll, I hope somebody walking out of this gate, because I do not want to go outside. I just do not want to go outside. Oh, please, please, grocery God, please have somebody walking in or out of the gate so I don't have to go downstairs and get these groceries, please. I just do not want to go outside today. All right, y'all, I'm gone. Y'all have a good day. Um, and that's all I had to say. Bye, y'all.